As a company starts working to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases, this is going to be kind of a different video because I found something kind of cool, something I was so interested on. I went and took my lunch break, went down there and actually tried out this machine. This is called the uh, ReSharp. Uh, so if you haven't seen this before, maybe I'm the last one to actually come across it, but it's an automated sharpening system. Uh, you'll find it probably at your local hardware store. You can go into the website and actually kind of take a look at it to see how it works. Uh, but it is automated, it clamps it, and measures it, sharpens, and cleans it. Uh, so that's where I was like, oh, that seems pretty interesting. I want to go check that out. And it's not bad at price. I mean, it's like six, seven bucks uh, to get it your knife sharpened. Uh, so it was just like, eh, it's cool enough. I'm going to go take a look. So I did go down there, uh, check out the machine. So it has a pretty nice display, as you see here. Uh, it's going to be um, set up in a store. You just go talk to the um, sales for person or someone there that actually knows how to use the machine because there's some training for it. So it's not something that you can go up to and uh, cut a key yourself at some of those like um, do it yourself type of things, kiosks at the front entries. Uh, so it's a cool little setup. Uh, it doesn't take up much space for it. And then it has uh, basically all the information as far as what you can and cannot do. Uh, so as you see on this picture here, I mean, it does have, you can't do serrations on this one because it's going to be have only that one, um, one type of uh, sharpening that it can do. So it can do uh, flats, it can do rounds uh, for the blade, uh, but then, it, and it also has kind of a, a pretty wide range as far as how long it can be too. So, I mean, you're looking at any from 2.5 inches to 12 inches you can sharpen, and then you're gonna have a pretty wide blade down to a pretty uh, narrow 0.5 inches. So it has a very good range for it, uh, but uh, it's just something I was interested in, went and checked it out. Uh, so we can go through that as far as um, kind of what it looks like. Uh, so first off it does, it does, uh, once they clamp it into the machine, uh, they uh, basically set up this green laser on it, as you see, and then that's where it's going to be, where they actually set up where it's going to actually start to sharpen the knife or end the sharpening of your knife. Uh, so this is kind of um, where it probably comes down to somewhat of a, a training side for some of the folks in the store, because uh, one of the guys was going to set up uh, the second knife that I did, which was the Orion Solaris one, down, and he was going to sharpen it like, I don't know, a quarter inch. Uh, from like into the the a quarter inch past the troil, uh, so I was just like, no, no, no I just cancel it then. I just don't want to do that. Uh, so uh, then another guy came up and then kind of checked it, and then they were able to get it kind of uh, set up where it actually would start from the troil and actually do the full sharpening. So that wasn't too bad, but there is some type of thing there uh, for resharp if they actually do uh, have these type of uh, sharpening services. They have to have people in the store that really um, are well versed in it and to really bring this home and be actually a really good service for it. So after it does that, so they start it up, it actually goes and measures the blade, uh, which is a pretty cool setup and it's all automated at this point. So really once they get that first step, it's clamping and setting that laser as far as where it's gonna end the sharpening, it takes over from there and actually does everything for it. So it does the measurement, and then does the actual sharpening, and then it rechecks it, and then sharpens again if it needs to. And that's where it's something kind of a little bit different too. So I'll walk you through as far as what it's doing. So as it's going there, I might cut in some sound on it, um, cut in and out of some of the sound, because there's some music playing, so I don't want to uh, have that playing in the background. Uh, but you can kind of hear how loud this machine is as it's operating, and then it does switch over uh, at the end to kind of clean the blade. Uh, but uh, during the process, it is uh, pretty decent. It takes uh, maybe about a minute and a half, like 90 seconds is what they advertise on their website, uh, what it does. So it actually does rotate. So the head actually rotates to get that full bevel across. It actually brings the blade uh, into those uh, cutting uh, cutting rotors. Uh, so it doesn't seem to take off too much material. And when it was done, I mean, the blade wasn't hot or anything like that. So could it damage the, the heat treat on it? Is it gonna be putting a lot of heat into the blade? I'm not sure, but it is a cutting blade, so hopefully it's more cutting than, uh, I guess any abrasion is going to have something to heat, but I'm not really too sure. So I'm just trying to test it out because I think it was cool, something I want to check out, so that's what I did do with it. Uh, so after I did uh, the first knife, which was uh, the Elite Tactical, because I did have a parallax, thank you to them for sending that along from Elite Tactical. So they sent this along to check out. Uh, so that's where I just want to kind of test that blade out. So I did do that one. Um, I looked at the sharpening on it, and then it was kind of an interesting thing because I was like, eh, I guess, it, I mean, this, 
it's okay. Uh, but the sharpening that I put onto it was almost like a, a bevel and then a micro bevel. Uh, so I'll kind of um, throw in a picture of what that looks like uh, as far as what this blade looked like. So you might not be able to see it here, might not. Uh, but there's like a, a micro bevel on the tip of it and then the regular sharpening and then even some of the areas it didn't really sharpen very well on this side it sharpened better on this side uh, for the blade so overall I mean it was kind of a, a hit and miss type of process uh, for the first knife and then uh, once I was able to kind of get it done I was like okay well that's that knife and then it went on to the Solaris which was in my left pocket because I always carry the Solaris and kind of rotate out the right pocket uh, so I did do this one uh, so I did have this sharpened uh, so for in general I mean it's a pretty decent angle for it uh, so I do have um, the angle reader somewhere there it is uh, so so you can kind of see that micro bevel on this one uh, so it's gonna have two different angles uh, for the sharpening uh, yeah, you should be able to see that. So, so that's where it's going to be about 14, maybe 13 degrees. And then the other side is going to be maybe about 18, 18 degrees. So it has two different bevels on it, um, which was kind of an odd thing for this one because this one just had a single bevel. So something with the measuring on it, it I guess it saw it to be necessary. Uh, to have that on there uh, but this one's going to be probably about 18 degrees uh, so 18 or so degrees uh, for um, the single uh, sharpening uh, but one thing that I did notice on it in comparison to maybe something on a work sharp or something that was more of a honing stone it's a really 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 uh, just just a coarse sharpening uh, so like it has a measure sharpening and clean it almost needs to add in one more step on that. So it should be a measure, sharpen, refine, and then a clean. I guess that's one thing about it. Uh, for the Elite Tactical, it doesn't cut very well right now. Uh, there's a, like a burr. It almost looks like some of the sharpening stone or some. there's like a crystallization that's on the tip of the blade. Uh, it doesn't cut very well. Uh, so I'm going to go and take this uh, and get this uh, redo the sharpening on this side. Uh, so for this knife, I'm going to resharpen, see how that does, and then this one I'll just refine uh, because right now it's about 18 degrees uh, per side. So I'll do that 18 degrees, but I'll refine a little bit because it does cut paper fairly well, uh, but just very uh, coarse, very coarse on it. So if you guys think it's a pretty cool setup, then let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you've seen this in your stores, if you've tried this along uh, by yourself as well, as far as any of the hardware stores, but it is called the Resharp. And they've been around since, I guess, 2017 is kind of where they kind of get that going. They have a patented sharpening uh, system that's probably with the rotation of the head. Uh, but at 7 bucks, not bad. Uh, but it's kind of like a, one of the things where you um, kind of get it. Maybe if you don't want to do a, um, a re refinishing or a reprofiling, take it down there, get them to reprofile it a little bit and then refine it at home uh, is probably my recommendation for that and if uh, resharp does watch this and then they maybe feel that the results isn't what they're looking for they can let me know as well as, as far as um, their thoughts and because maybe it just needs to be serviced or maybe that's not what the type of thing or the type of uh, finish that they're going for because these are in different locations so if you go to the website you can see if there's a location even near you because there might not be one uh, so this one was quite a uh, ways away from my home, uh, so it was just closer to my work. So I did try it out there, but overall, resharp. I would say try it out for maybe the reprofile and the air shooting side of things. But as far as if you're going to be doing uh, wanting something for home sharpening, this is kind of like a hit and miss. It's kind of like not as bad as a pull through sharpener, but it's not. Not something I'm going to rave about. It's cool. It's something that's neat to look at. Uh, but the uh, separation between the, um, the folks in the store as far as their knowledge, as far as how to use the machine, maybe a little bit of work there uh, will help out, and especially to build a brand. So if you're going to be having a new system, you really need to have the people in the stores taking care of that or even have like a, I don't know, drive up kiosk with a coffee machine or something uh, so you can get people to drop off their knives and sharpen it while they get their coffee or something. But 
Uh, it might be an idea. But this one is an interesting thing for ReSharp. Um, so need some refining. Uh, cool setup. It was something that I kind of came across. I was going down kind of a rabbit hole as far as uh, robotics uh, for knife making. Uh, but that's about all I have to say about that one today. Let me know what you think about it. If you tried ReSharp on your own. And uh, let me know what you think.